So we're here with the Feel It. Feel It. Feel so it. who are you? So we are a startup company, budding startup from uh, the Technion in Israel. Can we uh, check this out? So you, you are uh, doing skin-inspired flexible sensors, electronic skin. Yeah. So basically, the most sensitive part of our uh, human body is the fingertips. We can sense a milligram uh, in terms of load resolution, and we can sense one millimeter, uh, two points that are one millimeter apart from one another. And we take these features and we integrate this in the flexible touch sensors. So we have the patent technology that enables us to measure touch and its location uh, in a human-like resolution. And uh, we use this... This is your sensor there? Yeah. This is the active layer. It's based on gold nanoparticle ink that we print. We can print it on different substrate. And uh, we use, instead of 100 pixels that you normally might use, yeah. we use only 10. So only 10? 10. For this kind of resolution. Uh, that's a patent technology and that enables us to have low power consumption and uh, low transfer data and this is good for wearable and uh, mobile application. So when you touch here, the sensor, uh, can you show again? Yeah, so the, you see this, the change in the resistance, in the electrical resistance. And that's based on just what you touch or the whole, where's just, the measuring? So this is only the sensor, the, this whole part are wires. Are they also active, the other ones? Uh, not, not connected, but okay. I can show you it. So, uh, additional application is for uh, surgical tools. Okay. For minimal invasive surgery, surgeons currently use a camera and some surgical tools, but they don't have the hands to feel, feel uh, like normal tissue versus cancer tissue, for yeah. example. And that's an issue. We've talked to several doctors. And we, we wish to embed this sensor inside of the surgical tools. So when you clap, you can see the change in the response. And that could be uh, uh, monitored. You can monitor perforation, for example. You can uh, have the textures of tissue. Uh, and you can see this on a computer screen. Or this could be embedded as actuators on uh, the doctor's hand, for example. So that's another physical application. Uh, additional uh, uh, interesting application field is for uh, movement monitoring. Movement. For movement. Where we have the sensors embedded inside of a sleeve, and the sensors are uh, uh, placed over here. So when they bend, when you bend your hand, you can see very nicely the, the response. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's very important for physical therapy, for example, where you want to monitor the improvement yeah. of movement and also for uh, virtual reality gaming and for, for sports, for athletes. So uh, what else are you talking about here? Uh, you have a, a piece of paper here. Where have you been showing this technology and uh, what's going on with your solution? Is it coming to market? So currently we are focusing on initial health monitoring patch application where we want to provide the whole solution, the end product, and based on uh, the, this initial product line, we'll be happy to get the feedback and improve the technology and then have a kit that could be supplied to different companies, yeah. uh, costume to their needs. All right, cool. So uh, um, how do you make this? What is it's flexible, how do you make it? So we use a commercial uh, polyamide substrate. We print on it the conductive with a commercial silver inks, and we produce the gold nanoparticle ink, which is the active layer, which we print. And that's So that's you, what you saw that stuff, cool. All right, what do you think about ID Tech X? Uh, it's great, yeah, it's a good opportunity to meet many potential uh, collaborations. It's gonna be huge in the future, printed electronics, flexible sensors, yeah. And uh, that's what you're doing there. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. <laughs>